Here are some common mistakes in audio transcription. Mistake number one. User uploads of audio or video file. Clicks the button to start recording and waiting when transcription has happened. But transcription will not start automatically. The audio should be fed to input from the output of the player. It could be done in several ways. The simplest way is to put the microphone near to the speakers. The second way is use audio cable software as stereo mixer. Stereo mixer is preferable. If you look at the settings in audio recording devices you may see stereo mixer here. You must turn stereo mixer and mute microphone for transcribing audio. Mistake number two. The second common mistake is trying to transcribe not in the Chrome browser. You must prove before transcribing that your browser support voice typing. First, you need to try to dictate in speechpad.pw site. If you cannot dictate you will not be able to transcribe too. It could be difficult if you don't have the mic. But if you have the mic first try to dictate and see if it works. Second, what if you do not have a mic and there is no audio card? If you do not have audio card, you'll not be able to transcribe neither with a stereo mixer nor with a virtual cable. So make sure you are able to use voice notepad. Please take a look at our previous video that explain how to do it. Now, once again make sure you have Chrome browser that has an audio card and the audio is fed from the player to the mic. This is perhaps the most common mistakes. Now about the settings. The most important setting with the transcription is a noise protection setting. Google has some bug with continuous recognition. Sometimes it freezes. In dictation mode recognition is resumed automatically when the text is copied to the output field. It is defined by the number of symbols before restart switch. In transcribing mode recognition may freeze if audio has too much noise. And transcription stops. Use the noise protection refresh as the recognition process after the chosen time interval. In this case, number of symbols before restart setting will not be so important. You can set it around 70 characters. These settings will allow you to transcribe almost any audio. And now are some minor mistakes. Sometimes users use transfer to clipboard or OS integration checkboxes. In this case, text will not be exposed to the output field and it's probably not what you really want. Therefore, not to check these checkboxes with transcribing. And one more thing. When I am using timestamps during transcription I often forget to turn off execute voice commands and replace punctuation checkboxes. So, when in text will appear some voice commands, back command for example, the part of timestamps can be erased. When you do an audio transcription then leave execute voice commands and replace punctuation checkbox off. When you do an audio transcription then leave execute voice commands and replace punctuation checkbox off.